One, two, ready, go. I am the church. You are the church. We are the church together. All who follow Jesus all around the world. Yes, we are the church together. And shake that. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it. Today is September 20th. 2020. Welcome back to Virtual Sunday School! Can everybody give me a little dance party? Dance party. Oh, you love to dance. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited too, Iris! Ah. It is so good to see your faces! I'm Mr. Mitchell, and I am one of your Sunday School helpers. Hello. Hi, everybody. I'm Mrs. Janine, and we are going to be making music together. My name is Anna, and I'm eight. My name is Quinn, and I'm four. Yeah, Sam's almost two. He'll be two next month. My name is Gabby, and I'm almost nine. This is Lily, and she's six. I'm Desmond. This is Lily. Clara, and I'm eight. I'm, I'm five. I'm six. Iris, you're five, and Mishael, you are six. We are so glad that you all are here. If you have your Spark Story Bible, you can get it out or follow along as I read, okay? God came to Abram and made a promise. Have you ever made a promise? Abram, you are very special to me, God said. I will take care of you and give you lots of children and grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. That's a big family. But Abram asked God many, many times, Are, Are you, you sure? sure? I don't have, have any children, children yet. yet. God thought Abram needed something more to help him understand. So God took Abram outside and showed him the night sky. Abram, God said, your family will include as many people as there are stars in the sky. Can you imagine? Abram stared up at all those stars. Look at all those chickens. He couldn't begin to count all of those twinkling lights. Stars and stars and stars all around him. Abram looked up at the stars and saw God at work. Abram believed God. Now for another promise, said God to Abram, you will need a place for your huge family to live. I will give you this land as I promised. Are you sure, God? Abram asked again. God made a covenant or a promise with Abram, a promise that Abram would become a father and a grandfather and a great grandfather. And all Abram's many, many sons and daughters, grandsons and granddaughters would live with God in the land on which Abram stood. Now we read this story, everyone, today because God surprised Abram. So our activity today, we are going to be creating stars and we're going to be able to share them with people who need to know about God's promises. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to pull out one of the half sheets of construction paper that we sent home. I'm going to take the top corner and I'm going to fold it. We're going to fold this fold, folding along this crease, a triangle off the top. We're going to open up what we cut. Looks good. What does this shape look like if you were to imagine the other half of it? What does it look like? So Mr. Mitchell is right here on my screen. So I'm going to pull it here and look what we create when we put ours together. Isn't that so cool? Someone who needs to be surprised by the promise of God's love in their life. I want to encourage you to maybe make two of these half stars. Give them one and keep one for yourself. You could even draw a picture or write a message. 
And then you can share that with someone who needs to be surprised by God's love this week. Look oh, at we you. did it! You did it! It looks so good! Oh, I have had so much fun seeing you all. Has, has everybody else really enjoyed being here today? Yes, yeah, definitely.